guys, welcome to the DMX Show. Today I'm going to show you this awesome tool created by developer P3Droid. It's for the Bionic. It'll take your Bionic that's on any system version, any ROM, any framework version, and restore it back to the upgrade path. It doesn't matter if you've accepted any of the cheesecake updates. This will bring you back to the upgrade path where you can update to the latest version, the 5.9.901, and also have that rooted as well. So the first thing you need to do is head to the link in the description, download the Bionic Path Saver, extract that to your desktop in its own folder, make sure that all the files are in the folder. Once you've done that, go to your phone, and make sure that your battery is full. Okay, the next thing you'll do is go ahead and plug in the phone to the USB. Make sure that you have the proper drivers installed. Okay, make sure that the USB is in charge only mode. Like so, charge only mode. And go ahead and set that down. And the next thing you'll do is go to the run me script right here. Double click that. It says before continuing, ensure USB debugging is enabled that you have the latest Motorola drivers installed and that your phone is connected via USB and click enter to continue. And it tells you everything that it's doing is pushing the update zip files to your SD card. It says do not wipe data or cache. And it's going to kind of run through the system. It may take several minutes, but what we're doing here is we are pushing uh, the 5.5.893 and also the 5.5.901 to the SD card. Uh, it's going to it's going to install it says that it it pushed both files and it's rebooting my phone to the bootloader mode which it did not do so I'm going to have to do that myself and the way you'll do that here is uh, press, let's go ahead and turn it off so we'll power off Okay, then we'll hold down both the volume buttons here, hold them both down, press the power button. Now we're in bootloader mode, go to recovery and check and see if those are there. Select recovery, I'm sorry, hit up to select recovery, we'll make sure that both files have been pushed to the SD card. Okay, so we got update 893 and update 901. So those are both there. Uh, so that means we can go back to the bootloader mode and press any key to continue. Uh, so let's go back to bootloader mode. We'll just reboot the system. And get, a, get back to the bootloader mode is where we need to be right now. Okay, so once we verify that our update files are there, we need to boot into recovery. I'm sorry, not cover, recovery, but bootloader mode. So hold both volume file, sorry, hold both volume buttons and the power button at the same time. And now that we are in the bootloader mode, I guess we need to be in the fast boot mode. Uh, so we'll go there, select that, and let's see. It should start transferring those files, and it is. So we need to be in that fast boot mode to transfer the files. This may take a while, so as soon as this is finished, we'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so when that's finished, when it's finished writing all of the files to your phone, notice here that we had like six web top files uh, that were sent to the phone and written, so don't get nervous if, if it goes through that process several times. Um, it will eventually finish writing all of those files, and then it's going to reboot your phone automatically. Now, once the phone reboots, it's going to root the current system, and then it's going to write the boot image. So I'm going to go ahead and pause again, and when all that's finished, I will come back and show you uh, what else to do. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and root your phone. And you see all the information here, it rooted my phone, and then it pushed the boot image. Now the phone is rebooting into recovery. 
Uh, so as soon as it boots back up into recovery, we'll go ahead and install the first update. And if you're uh, okay with P3 Droid's instructions, some people had success with this. Uh, they You go ahead and install the first update, and then install the second update, and then this script will root it. Right? So some people said that it worked. Some people said that it didn't. Some people installed the first update, rebooted the phone, ran released and root with the forever root, and then rebooted into recovery and did the second update. And they said that that worked. Um, if you're paranoid, go ahead and do that. I guess I'm just going to follow the guide. If this doesn't work, uh, then I'll do the super one click. Uh, the Zerg rush should work. Uh, so what we're going to do now is... Okay, it's installing the boot image, so I got ahead of myself there. So now it's installing the boot image, and then it's going to go into recovery. Okay, so now we're going into recovery. It says if you want to test 5.9.901, install the update right after you install uh, the update 893.zip. And as soon as all that is completed, it's going to re, it's going to root that build. So now we're in recovery mode. I'm just going to select both of these buttons, go to apply update from SD card, select that. Go to update 893.zip, select that. And we'll just set it there, let it do its thing. Okay, so if you are like incredibly paranoid, you can reboot your phone after that first update, run release root and forever root, and uh, then come back to this and install the 5.9.901. I'm just going to go ahead and stick to the instructions and install the 5.9.901. So I'll just go ahead and install the update 901.zip and as soon as that's finished we'll come back to it and show you the last part of the script. Okay so when you're all done updating to 901 you will go ahead and reboot the phone. As soon as it reboots up the script should continue to run through the commands it should go ahead and root that version and you should now be on the upgrade path and root it so what I'm going to do while we wait on this to reboot I'm going to pause it once more as soon as we're rebooted and the command script begins again I will start it back up okay so once it reboots and recognizes the USB cable uh, the script should begin doing its thing with the root so we're going to wait on that and see what it does. Okay, USB is now connected and and it all closed out. So, hmm, let's see what we got here. I guess it's finished. So now we will check and see if we have root. And there you have it. Uh, so now we're on 5.9.901, and we do have the super user. We'll go into settings, make sure that we are on that update update path 2.3.4, and let's see, system version 5.9.901. Uh, so of course, uh, P3 Droid hooked us up, got us back on the upgrade path. Uh, thank you, Team Black Hat and P3 Droid for the uh, Bionic Pass Saver One Click Method. Guys, you can check this out. Uh, download the file at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the link in the description. Check out droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks. Also, be sure to check out um, my Twitter feed. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys.